Now here's our carburetor. Now we're going to have to remove this piece here. We're going to have to remove this thread. So let's remove the thread first because we want to clean this up before we take the ball off so that none of this dirt around the carburetor gets involved with our job. So let's remove this thread. And that's going to take uh, 7 sixteenths on one side. And I do believe, oh, it's 10 millimeters. But let's get that thread off of there and then start scraping this off and cleaning it before we get it in our cleaner. Because once it hits the cleaner, that dirt's going to get in there and ruin your cleaner. Now, if you're not a regular student of mine, you may not uh, know how to clean the carburetor. Go back to one of my videos about cleaning the 12, 12 and a half horsepower carburetor and it will demonstrate to you why and how to do that. Now this carburetor here, as you can see, I got it cleaned up pretty good and I got the dirt off of there like we need to do, as you know. Now we need to take our, take our bowl off because we know we're probably going to have problems there. And another thing that I ran into on this one, which you may run into if you haven't already, I ran into it and I want to show you what that is right now. Now, as you can see, at least I think you can see that the, my gasket kind of tore apart on, on this one. I took the throat off, which I haven't cleaned up yet, but I'm going to. But as you can see, it, it tore up. Now I don't think I'm going to have any problem putting this together. Remember this throat is needs to be sealed so the air does not come through the crack. Now I believe the gasket tore in such a way that when I put this back the pieces are still going to be there. If they're not I'm going to have to make a gasket or to buy some former gasket. If you've ever used a former gasket or if you haven't used former, former gasket I like the blue stuff and you just take your finger and put a little bit on there and, and when you put it back together and that seals it up because the main thing is this is not under a whole lot of pressure or anything it's just you don't want air sucking through the crack because it's not going to allow your motor to run properly you have to have the right amount of air flowing in with the gasoline so that it mixes correctly by the time it gets into that cylinder and explodes so Let's make sure your gasket lines up and you know and make sure it goes back together so that you don't have no air leaks. That's the main thing on that. Now let's, let's take that ball off. Which amazingly enough on mine, which uh, may not be on yours, the inside of the ball is real clean. You know, real clean, but you know what? Look at it. It's not coming down. Yeah, now it is, but because it had been sitting like this for so long, it had stuck that way. Now all I had to do was just move it, now it seems to be working, right? But I'm going to take that off, and you need to take it off too. And you know how to do that, you've seen the video. So let's take that apart, and let's clean that all up, and let's put this all back together. And you know how to do it, if you don't, you need to go back and watch the videos on how to do this. This carburetor is, from what I see so far, is identical, same cleaning as with the Briggs and Stratton, and that is a good thing because we know that's going to fix it. Thank you.